Hey everyone, I want to start with the texture customization scene because I've updated the uh, texture uh, for the Mushroom Monster here. So if you go into your Mushroom Monster folder and procedural materials, you find that here. The big thing is I redid the masks for the uh, head and the bumps. Uh, and so, uh, this masked blur here feature, which is pretty cool. It should help, uh, help you um, get a better look. Um, than you were able to before. So uh, make sure that you have the enable texture modification checked there and then uh, if you want you can change the roughness shift make them a little more or less rough. There we go, make it a little bit more like it's a little wet perhaps. Um, same with the bumps and then so the big thing here I just wanted to do that uh, but the big thing here is that if I change the color of the head just by changing the hue um, before down here you get all these little bumps and there wasn't too much you could do about it um, but now uh, the mask itself is a little cleaner and you can also blur the mask a little bit to get that um, to fill in those gaps there basically so just bring the blur up a little bit and you've got that. And same thing with the head or the bumps here. Say I wanted to throw an overlay color of this blue uh, and I wanted to blur that mask as well. Now it blends much nicer and I can keep blurring to my heart's content and keep blurring and keep blurring keep blurring if I so wanted to. Uh, all the way is probably not that good but um, some blurring is good. It helps blend the two together quite nicely. So. I just want to start with that. Uh, it should help you get a better look. So let's reset this um, right here and we'll start the demo scene. All right, so we've added music to this uh, pack now and it's pretty cool and we'll go over that at the end. For now, uh, let's just look at the Mushroom Monster and we'll start with the uh, animations. So we have some static poses to use if you want him just to be like he's not really a monster. And he can come alive. He also goes through. And you'll notice there's the uh, audio as well that goes along with it. So that's included in the package. We've got his walk animation. He's got four legs down there. And I would definitely pay attention to the way he actually moves with all this jiggliness. Um, we try to pay a lot of detail into that type of um, more realism. Uh, if you know, as far as a uh, mushroom monster can go, as realistic as it might be. Uh, you also notice there's some movement in the bumps on the head as well. Um, so that's the idle break. He's got three attacks. This is a little head bash attack. This one's his magic attack. You could also use a slice attack if you didn't want to use the particles. The uh, particles are included and uh, you can uh, use my entire particle system which comes with it to create your own as well. So a jump bash attack. This attack is a running one where he just goes forward and then when you let go he's got his recovery animation which starts with a little bump his block where he just brings his head down and blocks whatever might be coming his way got hit animation and you could of course blend from the block to the got hit if you so choose uh, I didn't add it to this demo uh, his squash is like you know say a uh, Italian plumber was stepping on him or jumping on him you could push him off with this squash type thing and his death like that more times Alright, so those are his animations, uh, and now we also have these texture sets. Now, as you just saw, you can customize the textures to an insane degree. But if you do not want to take the time, you can use these pre-made texture sets that come with the package, um, and you can use these in your game right away. I do always suggest you customize your own textures because you can really make your own, um, uh, the mushroom that, to match your game exactly the way you want it, uh, and the new setup is actually you can get a better look than these because you won't get, I like this one a lot, it's actually one of my favorites, but you won't get this little line right here like you would before, so. Um, yeah, so those are the texture sets. And now we've got the blend shapes. Blend shapes are really, really cool. So these height bumps, you can make them bigger or smaller, and I've separated them into four different groups, so if you really want to get industrious, you can actually code this to uh, change during runtime, and just, you could have all of these like pumping away during uh, just in general just during the game which is pretty cool uh, his, the width of his bumps so you can make it spiky or, or less spiky head height 
with these uh, things you can actually do a whole hell of a lot to create different uh, looking mushrooms. So already now we've got a completely different mushroom. You can make the head wider, you know, and bring the neck down, make a different looking mushroom. And then we got the head length here. Uh, you can make it really flat. Um, you can make the head width height, make a tall hat type. There's so many things you can do with these. And the best part is that during the animations, everything still works. All the jiggliness, all the other parts, that, all the other blend shapes that are animated all still work. Um, so you can just basically create a lot of different characters. Uh, and you can code this, um, the blend shapes, at, uh, in runtime. So you can randomize it if you want. Uh, you could let players adjust the character themselves. Um, you could uh, uh, save them as prefabs or we have a built-in uh, preset file system. It's just a text file that saves the values. And you could load a preset at runtime as well. So you, maybe instead of uh, randomizing all the values completely, you have like three or four different types of mushrooms that you want to use and you can just load those presets instead. So uh, there's a lot you can do with the blend shapes. It's um, kind of insane. And I really hope you start using that if you're using the Mushroom Monster because it's very powerful. Alright, let me restart the demo and check out the music. Alright, so what you're hearing now is the Composer's Mix. Uh, or it's the closest thing to the Composer's Mix. The Composer's Mix is a, a track you can just use, drop it in your game, and you're all set to go. But, uh, there's 12 different tracks here, and each one you can actually control to create your own mix. Um, and this is very important because it's it's so powerful and I don't think many Unity users really understand um, what you can do with the song that's set up this way. Um, so I've got these presets here and I'm going to show you the Unity Audio Mixer but first I'm just going to go through these presets and let you hear the difference. Uh, each one will sound different from the last, often in subtle ways but sometimes in very um, obvious ways. So it's a three minute song. I'm probably not going to take the whole three minutes, uh, but I'll just click. This is the default. I'm just going to click and I'll, I'll lower the, the screen um, when I change it. So right now we're on the default and we'll go through all, all nine.
So I just wanted to highlight the difference here between Alt 8, which has some melody, but this, you know, beat there still, Alt 5, which loses the melody and only has a few of the instruments up, including this drone here, the bass drone, the airy drone, for a really ominous tone. You know, and then you've got Alt 4, which brings uh, the bass drone down, and it's much more lighthearted. And then all two brings both the drones down. It's just the melodies for the most part and some percussion. So uh, there's a lot going on there. I'm going to actually show you this in the mixer now. Um, so I'm gonna. You can act, the way you you mix the music is actually during runtime, uh, opposed to most every other thing in the Unity. Uh, there is this button here. It says edit and play mode. So you can actually edit and everything you do will be saved. So I'm going to create a new, um, we'll copy the default, duplicate this one. I'm going to call this demo mix. Um, so we've got in all of, you know, everything's here set to zero. Um, and as you're going through this, you can actually listen to the track and, and just really figure out what you want it to sound like. So for instance, uh, this sound here, this I think it's a djembe, I'm not sure, um, you know, it's that boom, 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 you know. Bring that down and it, you really make it much lighter um, track. And same thing with the bass and airy drones. That's a very quiet track. Um, and of course, if you want those a little bit, you could bring them up still, maybe not quite as high. So it's just a little less, or just use the airy drone, but not the bass one. Um, you know, if you don't like this wood melody, you can go down. Simple as that. Um, so now we've got a track that's very light, and as it goes through, we'll, we get these little gongs. We can bring the gongs down as well. There you can have a lot of silence because the, uh, the track, of course, is going through all these different sounds. Maybe bring down the bells percussion as well. Make a sound that is no percussion. So bring down the talking drum. Leave that's all the percussion. Now, of course, with a three-minute song, you're going to want to listen to the whole thing and really understand where different parts come in, because like the guitar only comes in near the end, I believe, and same with the glass melody. Um, the melody will be taken from different instruments throughout the track. Bring that down. So now we only have the female voice and these melodies up here. Well, is not a melody, I don't think. We have the guitar and the voice. Now, there's going to be a lot of silence when those aren't playing, so I'm going to bring up bass drone to probably make a negative 14 so it's really really light and bring the airy drone up and bring the bass drone down with the airy one up and If you want to bring back in this sound, you could just deep drum. That adds a lot of um, atmosphere to it with uh, the deep rumble. So there's a lot you can do here. If you want to see if something's playing, you can bring these up and see where the uh, levels are. Yeah, there's that water from it. Okay. So now this demo mix is a much more ambient, relaxed sound. Than, uh, than the default. So I'm going to leave that there. If you have any questions, let me know in the forums. Uh, please do check out all this cool stuff. We also have concept art, uh, which isn't even shown here, but it's available in the, in the project as well. So let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day, everybody.